Howdy folks, Oklahomesteader here. Little different video, uh, Labor Day weekend, we came down to the Wichita Mountain Wildlife Refuge in Southwest Oklahoma. It's right outside of Fort Sill uh, Army Base. And this is our go-to for outdoor recreation and just to uh, enjoy the great outdoors. We're camping overnight tonight uh, and we're gonna do a little trial run on our brand new Capri truck bed camper. So this is a 2023 Capri Camper Retreat Short Bed. And we just picked this up, um, what, a week ago or so? Something like that, a week ago. They're built in Texas and they're all made to order. You pick out all your options. Uh, really, really good experience with this company. Uh, the owner is involved with you from the first call that you make to picking up the product. Um, when it's when it's built so really really neat people and a really really neat company they source as much as they can either locally or at least from the united states um, and like i said built uh right here in america texas so um let's take a quick tour <clears throat> so like i said this is the the model is the retreat short bed and uh, I think it turned out fantastic. We're really excited about trying it out tonight uh, at the campsite. So let's just take a quick tour of this thing. So the cab over is where the bed is. So you got a window, sliding window on both sides. Um, normally there's jacks, the electric jacks on each corner. That's how you get the, the camper on and off your truck. We took them off. We're not gonna be using them. We're not gonna take this off while we're down here. It's just one day. so. Um, we're just going to leave this camp straight up on the truck. Um, so we left the jacks at home. <clears throat> Similar to most campers, you have a fill spot to where this is where you fill your onboard water. It's 35 gallon water tank. This is where you would hook up your um, garden hose or city water, as they call it. Most campsites have that. Uh, this is a vent for hot water tank. Got an outdoor shower. This is for propane. Everything's built super nice. It's gonna last forever. On the back here, I did a couple rotor packs. Those are for water. This is how we can just have a little bit extra water to fill the, the fresh water the flushing tank on our little cassette toilet, and we'll get to that here in a minute. Uh, also, if we have a dog, one of our dogs with us or whatever, it's nice to just be able to have a little bit of extra fresh water. Um, we use the tailgate as a kind of a back porch, and with this Super Duty, you got a built-in step and hand railing, pretty nice. It does sit kind of high on that first step, so we bought just a just a um, adjustable step stool which really, which is really, really helpful to get it up on that first step. Uh, on the back, you also have a couple of plugs for whatever you want to plug in. Uh, and then this is where your shore power hooks up. So like at a campsite, um, the shore power plugs into here and then plugs into the, the pole at the campsite. Uh, this is for if you have a campsite that has um, cable or satellite or whatever. I don't know that we'll use that a whole lot, but it's there. AM, FM radio antenna. Uh, there's windows on both sides. I kind of forgot about those. This is behind this is where the sitting area is. And on the other side is where the little kitchenette is. Again, the sliding window on this side of the bed. So I'll have Chief take you on a little walk around here. Check it out all the way around. While she's doing that, I'll just mention the air conditioner on the roof is low profile. It works really, really well. Uh, it'll freeze you out in there. And so it is low profile, which helps with the overhead clearance. Uh, the other thing we did was we upgraded and had the solar panel put up there. And we have double batteries to extend our 
uh, power usage. So, um, like I said, we're, we're here at the beautiful Wichita Mountain Wildlife Refuge. We kind of found a little spot off the beaten path here. We've had a drought, obviously, so this lake over here is, is looking a little bit low, but um, still beautiful nonetheless. There's, there is nobody down in this part of the park, and uh, it's pretty, pretty neat. So now, uh, come with me. We're going to go check out the inside. Okay, so as you come in the back door here to the left, there is a little, I'll say closet space. There is a, a bar rack for behind these towels here for hanging clothes. If you have shirts or pants that you, you can hang up. We, we opted to put this little hanging uh, storage unit in here and it's got the little, the different little totes for storage. Up here in this cabinet, we have our cooking utensils, plates, silverware, all that kind of stuff. Microwave. We upgraded the refrigerator. This is a 3.1, I think, cubic feet. It's actually quite big. The standard one's a little smaller than this, and to us, it was just worth it to upgrade. This runs off a of battery. Pretty nice. Um, down here. This is where the battery and uh, inverter and all that stuff is. Fuse box down there. Underneath this mat here, or this uh, bench here, is where the water storage tank is. Down here you got battery shut off, you got your breakers and your uh, little sensor for O2. Here's the heater. I don't imagine we'll use that a whole lot here in Oklahoma, but we figured we'd do it, have it built in while, while we were while we were having it built, we may as well put it in there. Yep. Storage here. The little kitchenette. Got a nice sink. Hot and cold water. Chief's got all her junk in here. a two burner cooktop propane all of the windows have these blackout curtains that are all handmade by a local seamstress down there by where capri is and they just have snaps and that's how you take them on and off and this is so nice because honestly there's nothing to break you know blinds they always break and they're a pain in the butt. So these are super nice where you don't have to, you don't have to mess with any of that. You know, just simple, just makes total sense to have this as opposed to blinds. Up here is a queen size bed. It's a, what they call an east west sleeper. Again, there's a window there and there's a window behind all these pillows. LED lights throughout. There's interior speakers, two interior speakers, two exterior speakers. There's a couple of storage cabinets up here. Audio video package comes with stereo that's connected to your TV so you can play your TV uh, audio over the speakers, also DVD player. Nice big TV for a camper this small. I mean, it's it's uh, super nice, perfect spot to put it. The table here, you can see it adjusts. It's kind of hard to film this, but 
it adjusts every every which way you can imagine. I'll leave that out of the way here. The other thing we really loved is this upgraded cedar interior. I mean, if you could smell this, basically what they use is the cedar sheets that go would go inside a cedar lined um, closet. And it, it is just, it is just fantastic. It smells great. It's an insect repellent, just really, really cool. And then Chief's favorite part, a full size shower. And I mean, you wouldn't think that a full size shower would be able to go in the back of a truck bed, but it sure does. And it's, I'm a big guy and there's plenty of room in there for me to sit down even it's, I just can't even believe what they all squeezed into this camper. But there is a fan up there. Like I said, the, the shower is on a, uh, a handheld nozzle. We put a mat at the bottom that we can take in and out. That's just so that this little toilet doesn't slide around and scratch the bottom. This toilet is a Dometic cassette toilet chief says this is my job to empty this so this is a it's a small toilet it's only got a couple of gallon of fresh water flush tank and then i think a three gallon black water all right so the other camera got too hot and cut off so I was just saying about this, the cassette toilet back here. We'll do another video on that maybe. Maybe nobody cares. Um, but anyway, that's pretty much the tour um, of our new truck bed camper. And we haven't camped in it for overnight yet. So we'll let you know how that goes. We're about to go to the campsite right now, get plugged in, get the AC on, uh, maybe get some food going. And crack a couple of cold beers so appreciate you being here and we'll see you on the next video mm -hmm.